Welcome to Electron Line. Our next attempt here is to integrate the 1 over cosine square of x integral. And we're going to use the same technique as we used for the 1 over the sine square of x integral. In this case, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 1 over the sine squared and see what we get. So we're going to multiply this by 1 over the sine square of x and 1 over the sine square of x. When we do that, we get the following. We get this is equal to the integral of 1 over the sine square of x dx in the numerator divided by the cosine square of x divided by the sine square of x, which is the cotangent square of x. Now, the attempt is that if we let u equal the cotangent of x, that the numerator then becomes the differential, the du. So what I'm saying here is that if u is equal to the cotangent of x, and now we find the du of that, so the du dx is going to be equal to, well, let's see here, the cotangent is the cosine of x over the sine of x. So when we take the derivative of that, we use the quotient rule, we get the denominator, times the derivative of the numerator, which is going to be a minus sine of x, minus the numerator, cosine of x, times the derivative of the denominator, which is the cosine of x, all divided by the denominator squared, sine square of x. And so in the numerator, we get a minus sine square of x, minus a cosine square of x, which is a minus 1 divided by this. So this is equal to minus 1 divided by the sine square of x. So when we move the dx over to the other side, notice that that looks almost exactly what we have over here. The only thing we're missing is a negative sign. So we make this a negative and put a negative in the front, and now we have the exact differential du in the numerator, and we have u squared in the denominator. So this becomes minus 1 times the integral of du divided by u squared, which when we integrate that, this becomes... Uh, 1 over u to the first power. Now that will add another negative 1, which will cancel out this negative 1, and we have a constant of integration. So this is u to the first power, simply 1 over u. And then if we plug back in what we have, this is equal to 1 over u is the cotangent of x, plus a constant of integration. And of course, the inverse of the cotangent is equal to the tangent of x plus a constant of integration, and that then becomes the result of the integral of 1 over the cosine square of x. So again, the same technique, the same trick, and you can see then very readily we're able to integrate it, and that's how it's done.